From the University of Maryland's Robert H. Smith School of Business, this is the Smith Report, Summer Edition. I'm Carrie Handwerker from the Office of Marketing Communications. This summer, we'll feature a series of conversations with Maryland Smith MBA students working as interns. This week, we're chatting with Ramana Shrividya. He's interning this summer in customer strategy and planning at GlaxoSmithKline's Consumer Healthcare Group. But instead of working from GSK's Warren, New Jersey headquarters, he's working remotely from College Park. Thanks so much for joining us today, Ramana. Can you tell us what you're up to this summer? Thanks, Kerry. Uh, I am uh, interning in GSK Consumer Healthcare this summer. I am in the customer strategy and planning team. And I am fully virtual, but I got a chance to go to the office for one week um, in Warren, New Jersey, which was amazing. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing in that in the internship. Do you have specific projects or goals? I am uh, interning in the customer strategy team, and uh, which comes under the sales team. So what happens is when marketing team develops the marketing uh, tactics and all those uh, allocations for uh, media and, and the sales team, their responsibility is to go to each customer and decide on what SKUs are present in each customer and uh, how much of trade allocation is to be spent on each customer. As part of the customer strategy team, trade investment management is one of the biggest responsibilities. And me specifically, I'm working on customer segmentation process for optimizing trade investment allocation. Um, we optimize trade investment allocations as, as in uh, discounts, coupons, or displays, or features that you see in retail stores. Um, these allocations are uh, optimized based on the growth of the customer. And this is one of my major projects for uh, for the summer. What, what are some of the products that you're specifically working with? I'm sure that we would maybe recognize some of the brands. Um, it's always fun to, to hear about the, the brands that you're working with. Some of the brands that I'm working on are Sensodyne, Aquafresh, Biotene, uh, Polyden, Polygrip. These are in the oral category. We have Advil, Excedrin, Voltaren, which was recently switched from prescription to OTC last year. Uh, in pain category, we have Tums, Nexium, Indigestive, and we have Centrum, Chapstick, in a vitamin, mineral, and supplement uh, category. And so these are some of the brands that I'm, on, I'm working with. Those are all some some names that we all recognize from the trip to the to the drugstore. So that's... That's very interesting. So what can you talk to me a little bit about um, the culture at GSK? I know you're working from your home in College Park right now, but how have you been able to get a feel for what it's like at the company? I, I want to mention that GSK is the consumer healthcare business is splitting next year from the pharma and vaccine business and is going to be called a uh, I'm going to have a totally different name. They're going to be, become a separate entity. And so there's a lot of internal changes happening within the company, but they want to keep their culture uh, of uh, being keeping it human and doing what matters most and you know going beyond. So these three are the key pillars in uh, the new company's culture that they are looking for. And we had I had sessions um, over the last few weeks on keeping it human um, about people, about uh, my colleagues' experience, you know, uh, and and also kind of uh, talking about how they feel about uh, other colleagues and kind of giving something called love bombs uh, about what they appreciate about their colleagues and so on. And that, that was one part of it. So uh, we are also moving towards the second pillar of the culture, which is doing what matters most. Uh, kind of pri- looking at prioritizing what what is what is the most important work that it needs to be done and what what's ne- what needs to be prioritized and that is the second pillar and I think uh, in the next few weeks we'll also be looking at going beyond and how can we as employees help in uh, building that culture and so I when I had the opportunity to go um, in person to Warren office. There were not many in the office because uh, it was, you know, uh, people were still working from home. But I felt that warmth as soon as I entered the office because 
they immediately knew that I was, uh, I, I, this was the first time for me to enter that office and I was not aware of, you know, the office space as such. And so they were very warm in welcoming me and showing me the office and kind of uh, taking me around. I had a one-on-one -on -one with my manager's manager and it was really welcoming and warm. Can you tell us about the program? Are there other interns with you on the team? Yeah, so uh, my internship is in customer strategy team and there are two other interns in the customer strategy team, but not specifically in my under my manager, but in a different team under customer strategy. But uh, there are many undergraduate interns, majority of them in fact are undergraduates. Um, in, in, in the sales team as well as across the GSK a company. Um, so we have undergrads across supply chain, R&D, pharma and vaccine business, and uh, multiple other marketing as well. But there are limited number of graduate interns. Uh, there are uh, three NYU interns uh, in, the, in brand management as far as I know, but they have a very structured um, internship program and we have uh, multiple sessions uh, for intern for all the interns and also for graduate interns as well. Can you tell us what's a typical day like for you? I know you're not commuting to the office, but what is it? What's a, what's your typical day in your internship? Yeah, so my typical day starts at around. I would I get up at six, but um, I you know uh, come online. Um, and start my day at eight in the morning and um, typically starts with me uh, reading through all the emails and uh, if there are any messages in Microsoft Teams that we use and kind of replying to those emails or messages that I have uh, for the first half an hour or one hour and then I you know jump into my project if there are any uh, in, in the first few weeks I had to uh, deal with a lot of data extraction from IRI and kind of looking at those data and manipulating them to uh, fit into the model that I'm building. But then later on, uh, in the later weeks, I started you know, creating presentations and uh, uh, meeting with my manager to discuss on those presentations and kind of getting approval for those. So, and I also have um, you know, weekly meetings with my manager every Monday to discuss on what I did the previous week and what I am, Go, what, what my plan is for the coming week. And so it's a really good chance for me to, you know, have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with my manager. Have you found it easy to connect with, with um, managers and other folks at GSK? Yeah, my manager has been really proactive in kind of connecting with me as well as other interns. Um, I've heard that she is really good in, uh, handling, you know, managing summer interns in general, but uh, she has been really, uh, you know, helpful with um, providing me all the resources that I need for my project and also kind of making sure that I have the experience that I'm looking for during my summer internship to have my manager works more internally, her projects are more internal focused, but, and my main project is also internal focused but she also wanted me to have an experience towards external you know, suppliers or external customers. So uh, some of the projects, uh, smaller projects that I'm working on are external focus so that I have that balance between internal and external projects. That's great. It sounds like she's really focused on getting you the best experience that you could possibly have. Um, how did you land the internship? My internship uh, search process started very early. It was uh, I think in September where National Black uh, Conference was the first one. And then um, uh, I had the Reaching Out MBA Conference uh, later in October. But the GSK internship was really something that I got based on just networking. Um, one of the senior MBA graduates uh, that I connected with who, was, who had internship experience in a different company that I was looking for, uh, he connected me with one of his colleagues who worked in the same company when he was interning. And he was, uh, so his connection was working in the same position that I was interested in. 
and I had a chat with him and he connected me with a third person who was working in GSK. So that's how I came to know about this position. And then when I applied to this position, it was, um, you know, uh, around, uh, I think, January. Uh, and by that time, I got an interview. Pro there was an interview process and I got it around February. The first round was in February. And then uh, that was with the senior director who, who was going to manage me for the internship. And uh, the second round was with uh, two customer strategy managers. And um, yeah, so these after these two interview processes, I heard back from them uh, within uh, two weeks. So that, that was when I was able to accept it around mid-March. So what advice do you have for students this fall as they start out um, looking for an internship for next summer? I would say three things. Uh, the first one is to attend all conferences. It might seem that, you know, some of the companies that you are targeting might not be coming to those conferences, but I would still advise that you go to, you know, National Black, Prospanica, and any other conference that you are interested in, uh, because they really help you build network. And if, if nothing, it helps you at least uh, develop that confidence that you need in, you know, in interviews that you might in, in eventually get um, with your targeted company. The second advice that I have is to not be discouraged if you do not get an internship or interview in the first semester. Uh, not, not everyone gets uh, an interview immediately uh, in, you know, after National Black or, or, or the con conferences. And so I would say, keep pushing yourself, keep networking and uh, try to connect, uh, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one with people from different companies or even from industry some companies that you may not target initially, but are in the same industry that you're looking at. So, so that it helps you broaden your uh, network. And uh, the third advice that I have is, everyone has their own unique journey. Not everyone has, is coming to the MBA program with the same uh, experience or expectations. And so uh, take your own time and uh, it'll eventually, uh, everything will eventually fall in place. That's great advice, Ramana. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, we look forward to seeing you back on campus in the fall. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That's our conversation with Marilyn Smith MBA student, Ramana Shravidya, who's interning this summer with GSK. Thanks, Ramana, for sharing your experience with us. And thanks for tuning in. From the University of Maryland's Robert H. Smith School of Business, I'm Carrie Handwerker from the Office of Marketing Communications.